most programming <laughs> teaching is about, oh, I need to use these lines, then I call those lines, right? It's very syntactical. The design stuff is something you tend to learn having read other people's code and more often by doing it yourself and then figuring out that after having to maintain your own code that that was a horrible way to do it. I, I've come up with a better way, right? So practice does it. Favoring composition over inheritance, that's good advice and it's probably useful advice 90% of the time. But if your case is that last 10%, then you're hurting yourself. It has so much more of the why yeah. than huge collections of OOP stuff that's out there. Yeah. If you're learning OOP, you learn what inheritance is. You learn what composition is. The problem is that they've done it through explaining animals or yeah. cars or vehicles yeah. or some kind of thing. And it's like, this is actual code. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Here's where collisions are going to happen. Here's where renaming is going to be a problem. Yeah. More of this, please. You know? Someone was basically claiming, you know, the animal composition example is always damaging. You got to show real world because, and Bike Code's point was, yeah, I get what you're saying, but... You got to start with a simple enough example. Otherwise, right. you're never going to learn those things, right? And yeah, I don't um, know where the happy medium is. Like, it's, it's hard. nice to see it's, something. This I, is I, even more advanced because it's like dealing with asynchronous kind of ideas, also. Yeah. Like, so. And, and that's where that composition advice comes from is because really inheritance is trying to express this is a concept. If you are using inheritance, then you're sometimes forcing things to be is a, another thing when it isn't actually natural, whereas composition allows a much looser piece there. 